Today, we turn our focus to a key player on the global stage, India's military. This force not only protects one of the world's largest populations, but also holds a strategic position at the crossroads of Asia. As tensions rise and alliances shift, understanding the strength and capabilities of India's military is more critical than ever. This video will focus on key factors, such as the financial backing, worldwide standing, and advanced weaponry in the Indian military's arsenal across its army, air force, and navy. But before we dive in, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button because your feedback helps us a lot to produce better videos. Now let's find out, how powerful is India's military? India's geographical location places it at the epicenter of regional power dynamics. Sharing borders with countries like Pakistan, China, and Nepal means India operates in a neighborhood rich in both opportunity and challenges. The northern mountain ranges, the western deserts, and the extensive coastlines add another layer of complexity to India's defense strategy. Security issues aren't in short supply either. India faces a range of challenges that include territorial disputes, cross-border terrorism, and maritime security concerns. The tension along its northern borders with China and the persistent issues with Pakistan to the west are not mere footnotes. They are chapters in the ongoing narrative of India's defense policy. Each of these elements contributes to India's unique geopolitical stance, creating a landscape that calls for a military force as complex and adaptable as the challenges it faces. Money talks, and in the realm of defense, it speaks volumes. In fiscal year 2022 to 2023, India allocated approximately $69 billion to its defense sector. This considerable investment ranks it among the top five countries in terms of defense spending, following closely behind the United States and China. It's crucial to note that the U.S. defense budget is in the ballpark of $816 billion, and China's is around $224 billion, which places India's financial commitment into perspective. Breaking down India's budget reveals a tiered allocation system. A significant part, nearly 56%, is devoted to the Indian Army, the largest branch of the armed forces. The Air Force receives about 23%, and the Navy gets approximately 15%, with the remainder allocated for research, development, and other military functions. India boasts the world's second largest military force and the world's largest volunteer army, with over 1.4 million active personnel and an additional 1.1 million in reserve. This immense force is divided into three primary branches, the Indian Army, the Indian Navy, and the Indian Air Force. The lion's share belongs to the Indian Army, which fields over 1.2 million active personnel. In contrast, the Indian Navy and the Indian Air Force have over 67,000 and 139,000 active personnel, respectively. These military personnel are a testament to India's diversity hailing from various backgrounds and walks of life. Known globally for their bravery, commitment, and sacrifices, Indian soldiers are not only vital for safeguarding the nation's borders against external threats, but also play an indispensable role in maintaining internal security. Their expertise extends beyond national borders as they have been pivotal in numerous international peacekeeping missions. Delving deeper into the demographics of this massive force, the average Indian soldier is 23 years old, Remarkably, over 10% of these soldiers are women, placing India at the forefront with the world's largest number of female soldiers. For their unwavering service and dedication, Indian soldiers are decorated with a range of medals and honors. India's military consistently ranks among the top five global powers in multiple defense indices. These rankings take into account a range of metrics such as technological prowess, the scale of manpower, and strategic capabilities. In comparison to other major military powers like the United States, Russia, and China, India demonstrates a balanced force. While it may lack the technological edge of the United States or the sheer numbers of China, India's military is known for its versatility and adaptability. The ranking criteria incorporate these various aspects to present an accurate reflection of India's defense strengths and weaknesses. Therefore, India's position in the Global Military Index is a direct result of its balanced approach to military development. What about their tools of the trade? Is the advanced equipment key to India's enviable position on the Global Military Index? Yes, absolutely. When it comes to the Indian Army, 
A range of advanced hardware elevates its capabilities. One standout is the T-90S Bishma tank, an embodiment of armor and firepower designed for intense battlefield scenarios. Offering a blend of speed and protection, it serves as a cornerstone in ground offensives. Equally significant is the Akash missile system, capable of neutralizing aerial threats with pinpoint accuracy. Serving as a shield for ground troops and strategic installations, it is indispensable for air defense. The Hal Rudra helicopter provides another layer of support. A versatile flying machine fitted with an array of armaments, it performs various roles from reconnaissance to direct combat. Completing the quartet is the Danush Howitzer, a modern artillery system with remarkable range and accuracy. It brings the power of long-distance shelling to the Indian Army's repertoire. What about India's skies? The Indian Air Force's inventory features an impressive collection of aircraft, each tailored for specific operational needs. Taking center stage is the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI, a twin-engine multi-role fighter that excels in air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. Its versatility makes it a crucial component in India's aerial strategy. Next on the list is the Rafale fighter jet, a symbol of speed and agility. With its advanced avionics and superior maneuverability, the Rafale enhances the Indian Air Force's striking capabilities. The heavy lifting is done by the C-17 Globemaster III, a military transport aircraft designed for rapid strategic delivery of troops and all types of cargo. Its capacity for heavy payloads makes it invaluable for logistical support. Rounding out the fleet is the AH-64E Apache helicopter, armed for both anti-armor and close air support roles. This helicopter offers a blend of fire and precision, serving as an indispensable airborne combat asset. Together, these aircraft represent a balanced and robust air capability for India, meeting the diverse demands of modern aerial warfare. Indians are also powerful on the seas. The Indian Navy boasts a mix of surface ships and subsurface assets, making it a formidable maritime force. At the helm is the INS Vikramaditya aircraft carrier, a floating airbase capable of projecting power far beyond India's shores. Its presence alone is often enough to deter potential maritime aggressors. Submerged beneath the waves is the INS Chakra submarine, a nuclear-powered vessel equipped for stealth and extended underwater operations. Its capabilities make it a silent yet lethal guardian of India's maritime borders. The BrahMos anti-ship missile adds another dimension to naval warfare. Engineered for speed and precision, this missile can neutralize surface threats at considerable distances, making it a key element in naval engagements. Last but not least is the INS Sayadri stealth frigate, designed for a multitude of roles including anti-submarine warfare and air defense. Its stealth technology minimizes radar detection offering an element of surprise in tactical operations. Each of these naval assets plays a pivotal role in safeguarding India's maritime interests, collectively ensuring a multi-layered defense strategy. From sea to sky, India's defense capabilities are formidable, but what comes next is truly exciting. While traditional military assets like tanks and aircraft carriers hold evident importance, India also invests heavily in unconventional fronts like cybersecurity and space technology. The Indian cyber forces act as the first line of defense against digital threats, safeguarding critical infrastructure and data, trained to counter cyber espionage, cyber terrorism, and cyber warfare. These units work to secure India's digital footprint, a task increasingly vital in an interconnected world. Moving from the virtual to the cosmic, the Geosat satellites represent India's venture into space-based capabilities. These satellites serve various functions, including communication, navigation, and surveillance. The importance of space assets has grown manifold, especially considering their role in real-time communication and intelligence gathering during military operations. Though different in their nature and operational theaters, both cybersecurity and space technology are critical to India's defense strategy, offering a glimpse into the future of modern warfare. In conclusion, India's military strength is a blend of historical legacy and forward-looking innovation. With a firm foundation on land, sea, and air, and an eye towards the future realms of cybersecurity and space, India remains a key player in the global defense landscape. Its dedication to security, both domestically and globally, showcases its commitment to peace and stability. As the geopolitical dynamics evolve, India's military prowess ensures it remains not just a regional sentinel, but a global guardian. Thank you for watching.
If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel for more videos.